Oh my goodness, isn't it beautiful? All right, what's up guys? It is raining outside and some people might think I'm a madman for driving my car in the rain, but it's a car. That's what it's meant for. It's meant for driving. No little bit of rain scares me. Although uh, uh, highway speeds with uh, highway speeds with drag radials on the back are is a little bit sketchy. A little piece of advice: everybody who's uh, driving on drag radials, if it uh, if it rains, just be a little bit careful. But anyway, so uh, today I am going to check out the parts I got in for my uh, for my LS1 here, and uh, they're just about all arrived now except for a couple things here and there. I think I need injectors. But yeah, so I got a whole box of parts and we're gonna go check them out and see uh, see how they are. It's my mission to turn the LS1 into an LS fun. Even though it is, uh, it's still pretty fun as it is, but who doesn't like more power? More power, more cam, more everything. excited for when it's when it's got some real power hello there orangey this is the budget LS1 build I'm doing this with the goal of getting 400 wheel horsepower out of my Firebird and uh, I think it's attainable with a little bit of uh, you know, part collecting, stuff that works together, uh, a little more compression, and I'm gonna do it all without breaking the bank, which is pretty well 90% of people's idea. So, that being said, here's what I got so far. I need a couple things yet. I need injectors, which I have a lineup on those, and I need to make sure my push rods work, which I think they will. Actually, they might not, honestly. I have to use a push rod length checker. Make sure you always do that and make sure everything's cool because I am actually using thinner head gaskets, which means there's going to be tighter tolerances from head to block, meaning my push rods might be a tad, tad too long. We'll take care of that when, when the time comes. So here's my plan and here's what I got. I have a set of 243 casting aluminum heads. Uh, these are not from a Corvette. They're actually from a 2008-ish um, 5.3 Chevy. And uh, they're the exact same head. The only difference being, I believe, is the, uh, the actual Corvette 243s had sodium-filled exhaust valves. Um, I don't care. That doesn't really... The, the tiny little gain you're going to get from that is going to be negligible, so I don't care. These are actually the newer casting models. Uh, some guys say that these ones are better just because of the way they were casted. Other guys say they don't, it doesn't matter. So these have like, the way you can tell that is these have the little triangles. These have the little triangles above the, uh, below the spark plug holes. And that's how you tell if there were, there were a newer casting 243 or, or an older one. I could be wrong on that. Some, somebody might flame me on YouTube here, but. I picked these up for like 250 bucks. They're in really good shape. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. They do have springs already in them, but I don't know if they're factory. I don't know what they're from. I don't know what they're gonna, you know, what they were for. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them off and I'm gonna replace them. For my cam setup, I am going with this gorgeous fella right here. Isn't she a beauty, hey? This is a, Summit Racing part number 8707 stage two camshaft. These cams have made really, really good numbers for guys on LS, LS1 tech. And uh, yeah, you should go check that out because guys are getting really promising results with these. And um, I decided to give it a shot because they're a lot cheaper than the average bear. They're supposed to be easy to tune. They're supposed to make good power. So that was kind of my reasoning there. If you guys want to get a closer look here. That's that right there. The uh, specs on it, they're uh, 226 intake and 238 exhaust. Um, and it's 600 thousandths intake and 600 thousandths exhaust lift. 
So it's it's a fairly decent sized cam. There's actually quite a bit of duration on the uh, on the exhaust side there, but um, yeah, I guess the guys the guys say it tunes good, and we're about to find out because you know I've never tried it before, and I'm curious to see how it's going to idle and how it's going to sound. And it's got a 113 lobe separation angle, um, and yeah, it's going to be sweet. So I'm going to figure out. Uh, what exactly it sounds like and there's definitely going to be videos of that when it comes up. If you have any more questions on the cam you can either ask me or you can uh, go to Summit Racing's website. Um, the cam itself, American, it's under $300 and Canadian it's under $400. So it's a really good bang for your buck uh, camshaft if you're looking for one. Next up, gotta have it. This is a uh, LS2 timing chain so I'm gonna replace that while I'm at it. Um, I'm assuming the sprockets will be fine. I've you know, there's not a lot of times where you're gonna have to do the sprockets uh, both at the same time. My car is at super high mileage, so it should be all right. If I dig into there and I see that the sprockets are all wore out and stuff, I'm gonna replace them, so it's not a huge deal. After that, we got, uh, I got a Melling high volume oil pump here. So um, this is the M295HV. And I am going with a high volume because the car is, it's not huge mileage on it, but it's, it's you know, 150,000 kilometers, something like that. Uh, which is probably 90,000 miles. I don't want the high pressure, I just want high volume. So, it'll just, you know, gives everything just that little more capacity, a little more lube, and, and keep everything nice and tidy. <coughs> After the oil pump, we got, um, we got our lifters. So, I went ahead and ordered a set of factory LS7 lifters. Um, they're obviously LS1 roller lifters. And then I also got the LS7 trays to go in. Or these might be LS2, or sorry, L, uh, these might be LS2 trays, honestly. Because they're supposed to be stronger and, and stiffer than the factory ones. So when you're doing your, um, your lifters, it's probably a good idea to do your trays anyway. I think they're like four bucks for a set of trays, but... Um, yeah, I went with the uh, LS7 stuff because it's it's cheaper. It's Summit Racing brand, and uh, Summit Racing has been doing some pretty cool things just with parts and, and making everything more available and making everything cheaper so you can do this for on a way tighter budget. So, and here we have uh, we have my valve springs. Now, I like I said, there are a set of these ones on here, and I didn't feel like going through the hassle of getting them uh, pressure tested and all that stuff to see what kind of you know clamping pressure they have. So what I did was is I ordered a set of these dual dual spring trick flows. And uh, this is a kit you can buy right on Summit. <laughs> I just realized I sound like I'm hawking Summit parts like crazy. Um, I am not sponsored by Summit Racing. I went with Summit Racing for all this stuff because you can't beat the price right now. So. If anyone asks, that's why. These springs come with, uh, you can order many, a bunch of different ways. I got uh, titanium uh, retainers and, and all that stuff. It's got seals, um, it's got the plates and, and everything. So that's good. This, these springs are good up to 650 thousandths lift. So there'll be plenty for my 600, 600 cam. There's actually another set of cheaper springs you can get from Summit that they suggest, but they're, they're only good up to 600 thousandths and that's, kind of on the, la the the top end of this camshaft. Rather than pushing those springs, I decided to go with ones that are better. That way I don't have to worry about it. That way I don't have to worry about valve float and I can spin this thing, you know, way up into the RPM range and not have to worry about anything. Last thing I have is a set of Cometic uh, MLS gaskets. Um, these are um, 40 thousandths um, gaskets. So they are thinner than factory because I think factory is like 51 thousandths or something like that of an inch. So they're a little bit tighter. Um, they're going to help me with uh, my compression ratio. And then the last thing I have is odds and ends like my seal kits for the gaskets, seals, blah, blah, blah. Everything you need for the timing set. Um, there's a bolt for, for the crank pulley. And... This is, these are gaskets for, for uh, valve covers and stuff like that. If you're looking to get into you know, that 400 horsepower range, I think this is gonna be able to do it. And guys say like you should, you know, while you're at it, go port your heads and stuff like that. And I'm just like, 
Nah, I'm gonna throw them on here. Cause then there's, there's eventually gonna be a phase two where I pull these heads off and I either have them gone over super, super well, or if I'm feeling like Mr. Moneybags, I'm gonna put on a set of like AFRs and just send it, you know what I mean? Once I do that, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool for now, but I have so much more room to grow with these parts, you know what I mean? Like these springs are good, this, this oil pump's good, my lifters are gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna be a little more compression, so I'm gonna be up to, I think I did the calculations, and I think it was like 10.8 to one, something like that, with the uh, the tighter gaskets and and the the 243 heads have a smaller combustion chamber than the than the LS1 heads, which are uh, uh, 241s. So that's gonna help me. All in all, it should be a really stout car. Um, I am scared I'm gonna lose a little bottom end, so we'll see how that goes. If I do lose a bunch of bottom end, what I'm gonna do is is obviously put some gearing in the back and uh, either I'm gonna go with you know 390s or, or 410 something like that so let me know what you guys think let me know what you think of this build um, guesses on horsepower guesses on you know all that stuff all in all I will say though this this build like all these parts here have only probably cost me a couple grand all together like cheap cheap you know, like I said, I still have to buy the injectors and I'm buying a used set that somebody has. Uh, they're 42 pounders. I'm gonna put those on. They're you. They're gently, gently used and they've all been flow matched and stuff. So that's a good way to go. I'm gonna reuse my LS6 intake because LS6 intakes are good for, for you know, around that 500 horsepower mark. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do this because I'm a busy, busy boy. Um, but it, I'm, I'm hoping here right away Stick around and uh, see, wait for that. Also, I thought about the other day, I don't think I've ever done a, uh, a YouTube special video on my car, like ever. I just kind of had it one day and I was like, hey guys, check it out, I have a car. But I haven't gone over and I haven't done like a Redbird Auto on it yet. So uh, let me know if you want to see one of those on my 2002 Firebird. Cause uh, yeah, the thing's sick, go buy one, it's super sweet. Until then, um, keep buying parts, keep watching the videos, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.